Our experiment today is M3. We're going to take some measurements of an object sliding on an inclined plane, and we'll use that to calculate the coefficient of friction and see how that changes or if it changes uh, under various changes of parameter. Here's our inclined plane. Here's our block of wood. We put this on here. And what we want to do is find what's called the critical angle. That is the angle of the plane with the horizontal at which the block will slide down the plane at constant speed. So let's take a look here. Well, that's certainly within possible range. Let's see what we have there. That looks like about 14 and a half degrees. Well, that's moving there. Let's go on up and find a maximum. That's still moving at pretty constant speed there. That might still be, eh, I think it's probably not every place is the same. We're at about 17 degrees there. Uh, let's say it's accelerating there. So that might be the maximum. And that's at about 19 degrees. So it appears that for the block sliding in that direction. This did used to be part of a tree, so it's not perfectly uniform in every way. Somewhere between 15 and 19 degrees would be a proper angle. Now another thing we want to do is see if uh, the pressure makes a difference, so I can turn the block over so that it slides on its smaller edge, and I'll make the same measurement. Again, find the range of angles at which it appears to move with constant speed. Another thing we'd like to do is change the normal component of the plane force by adding some weight to the block. There it's moving very slowly. So we might call that a minimum. That appears to be at about 17 degrees. We could go on up. Still moving pretty constantly. Let's go on up a little bit. And there I would say it was accelerating. That makes an upper limit of about 21 degrees or so. So we take those three measurements. Now we'd like also to take another measurement, and that is by making a significant change in the angle, which seems contradictory at first. But what we'll do is we'll pass the string over this pulley, and we'll put a retarding force of one newton. And now we'll find the new critical angle. This will change our equation, of course. Oh, there it's moving. That occurs at somewhere around 40 degrees. We go on up. There's probably an upper limit there. Somewhere a little bigger than 40 degrees. Now, <clears throat> all of these measurements can be used to calculate the coefficient of friction between the wooden block and the metal plane. <clears throat> now, the conditions of that interface can make a big difference. 
for example, here are a couple of pieces of anti-skid shelf cloth product sold specifically for the purpose of increasing the coefficient of friction. This is blue friction, this is green friction. Uh, they can all be purchased at Walmart. And let's see what effect that has. Let's take our weight off. We'll put some green friction on here. And it doesn't go anywhere. Still not. We're getting close. Uh, clearly, it increases the critical angle significantly. In fact, uh, a brand new piece of this material will generally hold on at least a 45 degree angle, meaning a coefficient of friction of at least one.